It is the biggest genre film festival in the country, Austin's famous Fantastic Fest. It's back, it's happening now with some of the greatest horror, sci-fi, and fantasy films from all over the world. Talking about a new movie premiering tonight at Alamo Draft House on South Lamar, Kids vs. Aliens. Here to talk about it is co-writer and director, Jason Eisner. Jason, how's it going? Great, great to be here. Yeah, thanks for coming on, welcome to Austin. So you have directed films like uh, Dark Side of the Ring, Hobo with a Shotgun. This is a labor of love yeah. for you. It's, it's a family friendly thing. Talk about kids versus aliens. Basically, it's brother and sister, and it's a sister protecting her brother from aliens. Yeah, it's a, kind of like a coming of age story. <clears throat> it takes place in my hometown in Nova Scotia, Canada. And basically, it, a UFO crashes into the ocean in the backyard of a, a, a brother and a sister, that, uh, Gary, who's 13, his sister is 16. They're making backyard movies with their friends, and then all of a sudden teenagers enter Gary's older sister's like life, and they start like trying to get her to like leave movies behind and have a giant Halloween party, and they kind of peer pressure her to like mm. do that while her parents are gone away. But then lurking in the ocean are the aliens, and they crash the party that they end up having, and uh, it just becomes like kind of like a haunted house like ride from there on. Yeah. Got a young filmmaker in this uh, movie. Uh, yeah. Is that you? It, it, how much is. of you is in this? <clears throat> so much. This is such a personal film. Uh, so much of me uh, and making movies with my brother and sister is very much a part of this. And like growing up with like my friends and just like terrorizing my my sister. Um, <laughs> but uh, but the UFO stuff and the alien stuff. There's actually like a folk legend from back home. Really. Where in 1967 a UFO like crashed into the harbor and fishermen ra raced out in their fishing boats to try and find like uh, survivors of what they thought was a plane crash, but they didn't find any like plane or any people. Yeah. And for years, it's been like this like conspiracy, but it's been in my, like literally in my backyard. And since I was a kid, I heard that story and it like gave me nightmares. And so, yeah, it's all, yeah, it's just kind of a whole like uh, mixed bag of like my childhood, like put into a movie. That's cool. I love genre stuff. Like this, my favorite movies as a kid, Ghostbusters, Beetlejuice. Yeah, those are still my favorite. Those are still mine too. Like, That's so crazy you said that too. Like Beetlejuice, a really big deal yeah. for me. My very first film I made when I was eight years old was a remake of Beetlejuice. Of Beetlejuice. Yeah, and then Ghostbusters is actually a big influence on Kids vs. Aliens. Nice. Yeah, uh, just the way how beautiful Ghostbusters is shot but it still allows like its actors to have like this kind of freedom in it. When you watch like Bill Murray and like Dan Aykroyd, yeah, those guys. Lots of improv. Kind of, yeah, and that's how I tried to keep that with the kids in my movie as well too. Yeah, yeah. so what is, what's going through your mind thinking that maybe, like obviously those films have staying power. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You're, are you hoping that yours will have the same for, for kids' generations to come? Yeah, I hope so, that's the goal. Like uh, I don't want to spoil anything, but we definitely tease that we want there to be a sequel and we want more of them to happen and it's a universe that like I really, I thought about for almost like 10 years. And so I, let, I, I, I left little breadcrumbs like in the movie that hopefully like if we get a chance to expand it, uh, uh, th that, that people will see like a much bigger like universe. But it's very inspired by, yeah, like Ghostbusters, uh, He-Man and She-Ra was yeah. like a big inspiration in how big those worlds are for like those properties. That's what I wanted to do with mine. And uh, hopefully maybe they'll want to make action figures or video games Definitely. and all that kind of stuff. Inspiration, too. Yeah. yeah. Well, just to wrap this up, we got about 20 seconds. What do we need to know? Uh, it's happening tonight, premieres tonight. Yeah. Uh, getting distribution and people can stream it someday? Or? Yeah, it's, I think it's going to come out in early like 2023, uh, but it's playing Fantastic Fest here in Austin uh, tonight at 11.30 p.m. And uh, yeah, it's like, it's like I said, it's like a haunted house ride uh, it's like it takes place on Halloween and you know we're coming really close to Halloween and so I wanted to give people like a haunted house ride experience so yeah check go. it out. <laughs> Jason Eisner, Fantastic Fest, Movies Kids vs. Aliens. Thanks yeah. for coming. Appreciate Thank you. It.